Hey guys, you got the dude man here with you once again, and I'm very excited about the instrument I'm going to show you right now. This here is the Fender Squire. It's a jazz bass, and it's the um, the official name is Fender Squire 40th Anniversary Vintage Edition Jazz Bass. I got my notes over here in case you didn't figure that out. This is made in Indonesia, and I can tell you that Indonesia makes some excellent instruments. Um, th they just do a great job. A lot of nice finish work, and, and uh, they play great. Um, this particular model is uh, made, it start, uh, they started making them in 2022, and they're still making them today. Uh, this is a satin wide two-color sunburst brown finish and it's nice um, it doesn't have the typical like um, black to red to orange to yellow sunburst finish which is what I really like I, I like that natural I mean the the, uh, the old style sunburst uh, finish it, it, from way back I always liked that that was my favorite color but this still looks pretty cool to me it's got a lot of black around the horns and a little more black on, around the edges and everything and just that uh, main color of brown in the middle which is fine now I've added this skull it's just a sticker I just wanted to give it its own like kind of look here set it apart from the other ones that are just like it and I got a Dunlop uh, pick holder because I switched between fingers and pick uh, frequently so um, let me tell you a little bit more about the build this is uh, got a, a maple uh, fretboard and neck now it looks the color I guess they stained it this way it looks like it's a roasted neck they had me fooled I thought for sure because this is kind of the color you get when you get a roasted neck now roasted necks are nice to have but at this price point you're not gonna get it I don't think Anyway, um, so you got uh, 20 frets on here, and I believe there are medium-sized frets. And this has passive pickups. Now, you'll probably be surprised, as I was, of the sound that you're going to hear coming out of this thing with just passive pickups. All right? Um, so, um, yeah, it's, it's you know, one... <laughs> One thing I like about the passive pickups, you can leave it plugged in and not worry about the batteries going dead. So that's a that's a plus for me. But um, the retail price on these, you can get them for. I seen them at Guitar Center for three eighty nine. That's where I tried my first one. It was brand new, but the neck was kind of offset, like it was a little crooked. There was more space on one side and less on the other. And I don't. I'm not going to buy an instrument brand new. That, that has that issue so it was like a little bit of a factory faux pas if you will so uh, 389 you can get them for I seen them running brand new same base for as much as 800 now if they're selling at that price I don't know but I paid 347 for this one it was used and the guy who I bought it from he he switched out these um, pots in here he said the, the original pots were a little noisy, but when I played a brand new one, I didn't notice that. I didn't hear any noise, but he's a pretty uh, knowledgeable bass player, and he switched out the pots in this, and the other thing he did, this is typically a, a volume for um, the um, neck pickup, and this would be a volume for the, for the bridge pickup. What, what he did is, is, this is a master volume now, and he has this, just uh, to switch between the two pickups. So it's one knob for that. And then you got your tone knob, it's a small knob. So um, I guess, uh, I guess um, that's about it for, you know, it's a basic bass. Let's show you the back a little bit. You know, it's nice, it's nice. So um, I was just blown away with the tone because usually you don't get... sounds like an active bass and it's nice it's nice uh, it's got a great tone now with that being said I will say that I mean it's got plenty of high end but um, 
it's lacking a little bit in the bass uh, tone. So what I do is I just crank the bass up on my amp, or you know a lot of amps have a bass boost. You can hit that too. So I'm not too worried about it, but. It's got a real nice slap pop sound. Everything sounds good on this. Finger style, pick, I got a pick right here. Let's try it. sound for the money guys we're gonna keep this one short but uh, if you're looking for um, a nice sounding jazz instrument this this I think these pickups are the same ones that they put in the expensive fenders but uh, if you want a, a good fender jazz well squire fender squire jazz bass this is the dude man and speaking of dude man I'm checking out right now thanks for watching if you don't mind, give me the thumbs up. Give me a double thumbs up on this one because I gave you some good intel here to get a good instrument real cheap. And then you can subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And that keeps me motivated to make some more great videos for you guys. All right? Dude man checking out. Take it easy, brothers. <laughs>